Hey guys, what is up? So I got another question about the M3. Um, somebody wanted to know about the structural rigidity of the convertible. So without the roof, common theme is that shit changes. And I'll be honest with you, um, I've had three convertibles now. Uh, I had a 1988 uh, Chevy Camaro IROC. If you know what that is, I'll put up a picture of it if I can find one. I had an E46 M3, and now this one. And car, like convertibles have changed dramatically since my first car. My IROC was, it, 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 it was a piece of shit. It had the structural rigidity of a wet noodle, honestly. Going up a driveway, and this is the real test, you know, what you do is you put one wheel on the, on the curb and then the other wheel kind of up later because you approach it on an angle to prevent the nose from getting scraped and does the body twist and flex when you do that and with my IROC it did all the time uh, I went in and I got subframe connectors and a strut tower brace and it kind of corrected it somewhat but it never really fixed the problem that car had no structural rigidity whatsoever my E46 M3 was great uh, aside from the rattling joints in the roof for whatever reason, washers and things and uh, screws seem to rattle a bit over, over bumps and things like that, but the body was very stiff. When the top was down, there was no issues whatsoever. And it's the same thing in this. Um, it, is, it is a very stiff convertible. Now, that being said, is, is, is it as stiff as an E92 or an E90? Fuck no. Those, like, you know, when you take a roof off a car, the manufacturer has to stiffing every, stiffen everything from underneath the car. And as you guys already probably know, any, any car that's a coupe version is always made stiffer than the convertible, with, with some exceptions. Like, uh, for example, between a Boxster and a Cayman, there's not much difference in body stiffness because that car was designed from the get-go to be a roadster. So they do all the structural stiffening underneath the body. But always, 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 if you can put, nice Viper, if you can put a full shell around something, around the cabin, it's stiffer from the bottom and the top, it's always gonna be way stiffer than just stiffening from the bottom. So, that being said, if you want a stiff car for racing, and you wanna put on the coilovers and take it on the track and all that shit, awesome, go get an E92 or an E90. If you wanna drop the top and have some fun, get the sun on your skin like I am today in this nice warm spring day, get a cab. Um, it's really up to you. I mean, test drive both, see what you like. You won't really notice much in the way of weight difference between the two, but that's just my humble opinion. Hope that uh, video answers some questions. If you got any special requests, throw them in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If it's the first video you've seen, of course, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Uh